Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. Let's have a look and see what's going on for you at the time you watch this video. So this is for any significant Pisces placements. Oh, the world with the Eight of Pentacles. Hard work is being recognized. Hard work is paying off, achieving an accomplishment of some sort um, that you've been working towards. It could be to do with your work, personal projects, your studies, reaching a big goal. Right, so yeah. For any significant Pisces placements that you have in your chart, if you're dealing with the Pisces, this could resonate. Just remember to flip the roles as they need to be flipped. Always trust your own discernment in how you accept these messages. These are general readings at the end of the day. Feel free to watch any other reading on the channel. And for those of you who are new, hi, welcome. You've got money focus readings. You've got love focus readings. You versus them weekly readings. Just have a look at the playlists on the channel. And thank you all. The moon, the empress. Someone could be pregnant and they don't know it. Okay. That could be just side messages in the pre-shuffle. Um, we'll see if it comes back up. Or hidden feelings somehow. Knight of Swords being expressed. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I can't even remember what I was saying. Yeah, thank you all for your likes, your shares, your comments. I love your comments. I appreciate your feedback. And I love reading your stories. And thank you for subscribing. We're almost at 5,000. It's very exciting. Come on, camera. Don't do this to me today. Seriously? Is it done? Okay, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a keep going. <sighs> Give me strength. It's been a weird few days. What's it been like for you? I don't know what's going on in the sky, Pisces, but it's just been a weird few days. Like, just weird. <laughs> I can't explain it any better. Has it been, like, normal times for you? Maybe it's just me. Like, a lot of stuff going on, a lot of chaos, a lot of stuff not working, a lot of glitches. I don't know. I'm just trying to survive. Okay, let's see. What's going on for Pisces at the time that they watch this reading? And feel free to check out my second channel linked below, my other channel, Advice to Think Twice. A lot of you have gone over there as well, and you're saying hi to me over there as well, and I, I love it. Okay. Bottom of the deck, five of cups. Well, that's just great. Um, now, this could be sadness, sorrow, loss, mourning, um, heavy emotion, okay, of disappointment or loss. Um, so, great. Okay, let's see. Current situation, three of pentacles. Collaboration, team effort, team project, working together with someone, coming together with someone. Eight of Pentacles in the challenge position. So for some of you, you're um, you're not happy working as part of a group, or you're not happy being part of a group. You're not happy. You're not fulfilled. Um, you feel not seen, not important, not not heard. Like you get lost in the crowd. Um, and the challenge here with the Eight of Pentacles, it could be that this is so uncomfortable for you in order to push you to find the strength and the courage to go at it alone, okay? To stand out from the group, to take leadership of the group, or to leave the group. Or this could be a partnership as well, where it's just not fulfilling. And you have other options you want to go towards because your challenge is the eight of pentacles you do have something you want to work on you do have something you want to invest in it just might not be with the circumstance that you can currently find yourself in let's keep going in the foundation yeah we have the lovers you have a choice to make this could be mourning a relationship could be a, a, some sort of breakup some sort of separation because someone was stuck between two options if someone kept their options open and refused to make a choice it looks like a choice has been made for them or this could be where while it's sad that you're choosing to walk away from someone you have something else that you view as more in line with who you are and what you want to achieve in life and that's where you want to head towards so it's a case of 
it's it's sad but this is something I need to do it could be the same situation if it's to do with a job if it's to do with a project for a lot of you this is also a situation where you and you alone are being offered something and you would have to leave a partner if it's someone offering you a different kind of love a deeper kind of love I don't know but obviously they're not gonna offer someone's not gonna offer to be with you and your partner right it's like we need to be you and me a couple right if it's that kind of situation um but this could also be where someone is recognizing you out of a group only you out of a team only you out of a circumstance and they're offering you something that w you would have to leave the group leave the circumstance leave the place leave the job leave that collaborative effort to pursue this for yourself and it could be that you're sad to do it but the people that you're leaving behind could also have issues with you doing that queen of swords in the recent past yeah there has been a breakup for some of you there has been a separation there has been a divorce there has been some sort of official notice or this just represents that a decision has been made from a very rational logical listen this is the best thing for me this is what needs to happen this is what's fair this could be someone else mourning the loss of you because you've chosen a different path for yourself because it offers more to you or it's more a one-to-one one one dynamic. I don't know how, how else to explain it. It's like here, you're not, either you're not a priority or you're not that important or you're not seen and heard the way you would like to be, you know, whether it's you and another person or you and a group of people versus this other dynamic that's being offered to you where this is someone who values you cherishes you um it's not like putting you on a pedestal it's not but it's like they see who you are they pay attention to you they give you their time their resources whatever you put into this they put into this they're interested they're eager they're keen and it's a case of they want the same things i do they experience things at the same level i do they understand things the, the same way I do. We share perspectives, we share interests, we share common goals. It's just the best decision for me. If this is something where someone's been trying to decide, again, we have a situation, and this could be, again, relationship, job, collaboration, friendship, dynamic, whatever it is, project they've been investing in, and they're looking at two, two different ones where one that they've been working on but it hasn't gotten very far for whatever reason either there's too many cooks in the kitchen or people can't get on, get along to make a decision so it only like happens when everyone gets along we make progress we take another step but then people don't really come together don't really get along so it gets left and then when people get along again a few months down the line we take another step right or it's people are distracted this is not a priority this is not Whoever else is involved doesn't feel as strongly about this as you do, you know? And so they give you what you can. They give you what they can. But it's like, when I have time, when I have this, when I have that to spare, they're not making you a priority, okay? Or what it is that you're working on. Versus this other dynamic that I feel it, even though it's more recent, it's come into your life more recently than this other thing that you've been looking at. So you've known this person a lesser amount of time that you've that you then you've known this person you've interacted with this opportunity or this or you've had this idea or you started this plan more recently than what this was right so even though it feels like it's more recent it has already more depth it has already more um you've made more progress here why because it's with a like-minded individual, it's with a like-minded company, it's with someone who shares your beliefs, your morals, your values, your goals, and your drive, okay? So it will grow faster and deeper when everyone wants the same thing, right? So what's on the mind? Ace of Cups. We keep seeing the Ace of Cups. Yeah, I feel like Pisces, I feel like this is you, and for those of you, it feels like it's external to you, and you were one of these choices that someone was considering whether you're aware of it or not. Um, and this is whoever it is that's getting left behind, okay? 
because again whatever what they're leaving behind is another three right I'm not I don't feel like I'm important I don't feel like I'm valued I don't feel like I'm seen I'm part of the group I'm part of this I'm not a priority I'm the same level of priority if we can say that as everyone else versus this other thing that I'm looking at where it's equal give and take it's a fair partnership we want the same things we're doing things the same way okay and the Empress under that with the hangman ace of swords someone's made a decision this is what I want this is what I deserve okay come on camera focus I don't know why there we go I have more abundance here whether that's emotional financial or otherwise and again this is someone that you something and someone that you've been considering for quite some time you've been keeping an eye on you haven't actually taken any action towards them but you've been keeping an eye on, on on this person or opportunity. I feel like it has naturally grown because this is per, this is a person who's a natural giver. Okay, whatever they touch turns to gold because they are genuine. They genuinely care and they genuinely put in the work. Okay, um, and I feel like if this has been like a friend around you or a platonic situation, if this has gone on in your love life, slowly but surely you have develop feelings for this person you see the rose in his mouth you have developed feelings for this person there's a sense of respect and a sense of admiration but also emotional depth here love right you view them as your two of cups and you have made a decision ace of wands ace of swords ace of cups two of wands to go the other direction So what's on the mind, Pisces, whoever it is that had to make this decision is now ready to express it. Expressing feelings to this person, expressing interest, accepting their offer, accepting this opportunity. This just singles you out. Okay. So what's going on? Where are we headed? We have the star. Oh my God, this is beautiful. The nine of cups. Wish fulfillment in the minor arcana. Wish fulfillment in the major arcana. And the seven of wands. Yeah, taking a stand, determination, saying yes. Or you headed towards this person, taking a stand, making your case, determined to get a yes, right? Depends on which side of the fence you're on here. Um, but there's a yes, there's acceptance, there's the coming together, there's wish fulfillment. There's that feeling of everything is as it should be, okay? So, Pisces, you know where your role is in this, but for those of you where this is happening external to you, you're the empress in the situation, male or female, doesn't matter, and you've just been being yourself, right? Whoever this, per this other person is, they have been keeping an eye on you, they've been very impressed with you, they've been very, very taken with you, and they have got to the point where they're realizing that in their friendship with you, they're a lot closer to you as a friend than they are to their partner, for example. And that has, it's something that has recently dawned on them, and it started to bother them, and they started going through the motions, right, and contemplating, what do I want? What does Pisces want and what does my current situation want? I have to be honest and realistic and logical here. And they have made a decision. Pisces is the best decision for me. So you're about to receive some sort of offer, invitation, declaration, an outpour of emotion. But it's someone who, with the Seven of Wands, is confident, is determined, is clear. This is what they want. They may have gone back and forth about it before, but this time, they're clear. For those of you where this is you, it's the same thing. You've been going back and forth, and you've been taking people's feelings into account, and, you know, it's like bittersweet. People around you might have accused you. You went and pursued this on your own, and you didn't tell us about it, and you're trying to take credit for the whole team. And But no, the person observing you knows exactly who's doing what. And they're recognizing you and you alone because you're the one that deserves to be recognized out of that dynamic. They can tell themselves whatever else they want to tell themselves. But that's just the truth. Those are just the facts. Okay. And I feel like you too are coming to that conclusion and you're saying, listen, I have to do what I have to do. I have to do what's best for me. I haven't done anything wrong. 
So if I'm being recognized, I'm being recognized. I haven't done anything wrong. I haven't sought this out. I haven't pursued this. I haven't been going around telling people that I'm doing all the work here when I know it's a team. I haven't done anything wrong. And this is a dream come true for me. This is my dream job. This is my dream opportunity. I do deserve it. And that's the decision you're making, to pursue it, to accept it, to embrace it, okay? So let's see, what else for Pisces? Three of Pentacles in the current situation, we have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, whatever this is, is external to a current dynamic. This The Queen of Wands sometimes shows up as the other woman, but it's an external factor. It's an external party. That's why we have the Three of Pentacles, right? So that you are already in a partnership, you're already in a contract, uh, you are a, already in a dynamic between you and another person or you and a group of people that had an agreement together. And this was external to that. It was very beautiful, very attractive, very tempting. But again, I feel like for a lot of you, this found you. You didn't go looking for this found you. And it's also saying that you and you alone are being recognized. Not the whole group, but there's a reason for that, right? Eight of Pentacles in the challenge position, the Seven of Pentacles. Again, it's just confirming that someone's been debating this, going back and forth. Is this what I want? Is this what I deserve? How much effort have I put into this? Is it the right time to walk away? Someone's been doing a lot of contemplating. For those of you where you're aware of what this is, there's been a lot of contemplation. Is this right? Is this fair? Is this what I want? How do I feel about leaving and making this change? And for others of you, this is the other person, the other party that's been looking at you, contemplating, being um, really interested, paying attention to the detail of your work, paying attention to the quality of your work, paying attention to who you are as a person, and becoming more and more drawn to you and more and more interested in you. The lovers in the foundation Queen of Cups. Look at all these queens. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Someone chooses you or you've made your choice because you found the person, the situation, the company, the opportunity, the place that aligns perfectly with who you are and what you're trying to achieve. And I feel like it's been around you for some time with all this contemplation. It's been around you for some time just in a, in a different capacity. Queen of Swords in the recent past, King of Swords. If there was a previous contract, which if there was, and that could be commitment, relationship, job up contract, actual contract, a promise that was made, whatever, that has come either come to a natural end or it was ended because it was the right thing to do. This was ended in the right way, legally, ethically, it was the right thing to do. There has been a breakup, there has been a separation, there has been a divorce, there has been the severing of ties when it comes to a contract. This could also be the contract that was offered to you, the new contract that was offered to you, the recognition, the praise, and something official, paperwork, documentation that was offered to you for you to consider that trigger all this contemplation. Do you know what I mean? Because someone chose you and you alone, and they're very clear on that, and you needed some time to figure out how you feel about it. So, Ace of Cups on the mind, Knight of Swords. Expressing feelings. Did we see that in the pre shuffle? I can't remember if it was. I, anyway, but yeah, this is someone now rushing in. Again, confidence, determination, complete clarity. It may come out a little blend. You know, there's some people that can talk about their very deep emotions in a very matter of fact kind of way. That could be this conversation. But it's been a long time coming. And there's some action being taken, clearly. So let's see, the star, nine of cups, and the seven of wands. Ten of Wands, Two of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, someone is ending the period of contemplation that has become a burden. Okay, them trying to figure out what they wanted to do has been a very difficult burden for them to bear. 
Ten of Wands, Two of Swords. This is also someone who can no longer deny what's right in front of them. That you're a better fit. Or you're the one that needs to be recognized, that deserves to be recognized. You're the one they want. Vice versa, whatever it is, right? They have been avoiding it. They have been postponing making a decision. They have been running away from this. But it's become such a difficult burden, and the more they try to run away from it, the more clear it becomes that's where they're supposed to be. So, Knight of Cups, they're coming forward to get their Ace of Cups or to give you their Ace of Cups. Oh, for God's sake. There we go. Yeah. Like, nope, that's where my heart is. That's where my dreams are. That's where my wish fulfillment is. That's where my heart is. With that person, with that job, with that different circumstance, with that other friendship, with that other project. That's where it is. I can't hide from it anymore. I can't pretend I don't know. It's keeping me up at night. I can't focus. I can't concentrate. can't eat. can't sleep. And also, I don't even know why I'm doing that anymore because it's so clear that that's where my heart is. It's not even funny anymore. Okay. And if it's a situation for those of you where you have tried to have a conversation, you have tried to initiate something with this person in the past and got rejected because of the previous commitment, it has a feeling of they're coming to accept your offer now. They're coming to see if your offer is still available now because they can now meet you in the middle. They can offer you, you offer them your Ace of Cups somehow and now they can offer you their Ace of Cups to form the Two of Cups. Do you know what I mean? So it could be something that it didn't work out in the past. It got rejected initially or, or put aside or, you know, my hands are tied, this contract is in effect or I'm in a different commitment or I made a promise somewhere else. But it's something they haven't been able to stop thinking about. They, it's something they haven't been able to avoid any any longer because they might have said, you know, you know that situation where someone you're with someone, someone else asks you out. Your initial response and reaction is to say, "Sorry, I've got a boyfriend, partner, spouse, whatever." But then, if you're still around the person, the external person that asks you out, they go, "Yeah, that's fine. No worries." Ace of, Ace of Swords, we saw the Ace of Swords, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. This is very, I'm not crossing any lines. We're not doing anything wrong. I asked, you said, you gave me your answer. It is what it is. Let's drop it. But you still interact with them somehow. And you start seeing things about them. And then you start thinking about them. And then you're like, well, they just seem like a better fit for me. You start going like back and forth. You know what I mean? It gets you close to that edge. So even though your initial response was not, you didn't have a lot to think about because you didn't really know this person very well and you were with someone else, right? So it's like, no, sorry. But then some time has passed and somehow, somehow you kept interacting with this person and I just got deja vu. And the more you kept interacting with them, the more you fell in love with them or them you. To the point where it's like, I, I can't hide it. I can't avoid it. It's so obvious. Pisces is, is the perfect fit for me. And now with two knights, they're taking action to come towards you. Nine of wands, seven of cups, and the two of cups. Everything I just said. <laughs> Everything I just said. Okay. An initial rejection, pushback. No, I can't. Not interested. Okay. An initial boundary that led to contemplation. Seven of cups because they started learning things about you, they started seeing things about you, and this could be in work as well, where someone approached you and you're like, I'm happy in my job, no thank you. And then you kept interacting with this person or you kept an eye on this project or this team or this department, and you kept hearing things and seeing things, and it's like, ooh, I could be doing that, I'd be good at that. And then eventually you go, you know what, let me just go back to them and see if that's still available, because I'm actually quite interested in it, right? Leading to the Two of Cups, what I just said, okay? This is really beautiful, Pisces. So expect some sort of communication. We have unicorn that flipped out. 33, success, hope, freedom, healing, and magic are all available to you if you just believe. Someone's finally taking a chance on following their heart. 
they're not overthinking anything anymore they're just following their heart because it's so obvious that they have feelings it's so obvious that whatever this other thing was is such a better fit for them they can't hide it they can't deny it they don't want to patience number 24 slow down change your attitude and clear your mind yeah some time has passed that they've been watching you observing you thinking about you or vice versa they've been taking their time and it's become I, i'm telling you every time they saw you they learned something more about you that they absolutely loved every time they interacted with you they gained new respect for you and the quality of your work this developed over time but you didn't you didn't know it was developing right if you put yourself out there it got rejected rejected you're like okay cool sound and you just you just were you but then this person that rejected you initially every time you interacted somehow they just fell in love with you they just developed feelings they just developed respect admiration you had no clue of this you might have picked up on it intuitively but it was never a conversation again after that right initial rejection because like okay we know where we stand it is what it is let's move on but yeah every time they saw you they fell in love a little more or every time they saw you they they admired you a little more chariot number six charge ahead with confidence stay strong and focus this is what's coming your way someone's determined okay to make some sort of move towards you goals number 13 progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved because you you just you're just a perfect fit you share the same goals you share the same beliefs you have the same attitude towards things towards hard work dedication you have the same understanding of priorities So let's, uh, yeah, let's leave that there. Keep me posted. But yeah, listen. Something, something is shifting. Something is shifting. Something is happening today. There is an expression of love or expression of feelings or expression of interest. Okay, that can be new it coming your way or it could be something that is reciprocated to you putting yourself out there at some point in time in the past okay so it depends and that leads to a feeling of happily ever after oh my god this is really happening i can't believe this and a union whether that is a date whether that is discussing terms, a meeting to negotiate terms, signing paperwork and contracts, okay, of any kind. But yeah, at the very least, there's some sort of Ace of Cups, Knight of Swords, some sort of expression, action. So keep me posted, Pisces. Let's do your fortune cookie. Now this could add to today's message. It could be separate. This could answer your question directly, or it could give you advice on a new perspective that would answer your question. So think of your question and pick a number between one and three, or just keep it open. Whatever it is that you need guidance with at this time, whatever it is that you could benefit from knowing at this time. And this is, uh, you could choose all three, okay, with these energies, I'm being told. You don't have to choose just one number because we're not that specific, okay? If you chose number one, we have burnout. Your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. So check in with your doctor, dentist, and health professional and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. If you chose number two, tough and trying times tough times ahead think long term and make decisions accordingly avoid negative people at all cost and i'll leave these up for your interpretation as well and if you chose number three we have sexuality existing relationships could find a new passion and heightened sexual attraction opportunities for marriage and good family life are strong but if single beware of temptation that could lead to trouble a child will also bring great joy All right, Pisces, so let me know what you think of the fortune cookie cards. I quite like them. Um, 
and if you like them if you find them useful or fun or you know I'll, I'll keep doing them all right but I'll leave this here for now I hope the reading makes sense to you and I really hope it helps because look it's romance at the bottom of the deck love is set to sizzle the chance chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection <laughs> that's definitely part of the reading all right but yeah I'm looking forward to your thoughts looking forward to your feedback on this one because it's wowza um yeah let me know what it is is it job for you is it love what is this um because you will know of it this isn't something that's absolutely brand spanking new coming in out of the blue um elements of it could be again take what resonates as it resonates with your situation and if nothing makes sense it could just not be a reading today that's okay check out any other video you feel drawn to your messages could be there but I'll leave it there. Have a fantastic day, Pisces. Keep me posted. Come back, tell me what this says, and I'll do the same, okay? Have a fantastic day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.